Welcome to the Orphic blog, and today I will be demonstrating how to program the Orphic light. Each Orphic light comes with a manual on how to program the timer. I would follow along just in case you get lost. Now let's get to programming your light. You should have your ballast, which has two displays on it. The left one is for your day running light, while your left one is for your moon light. Now before we can start programming, you should notice on your display that you have a let's look at this one, a lock on your display, and that means that your display is under lock. So if you push any of these buttons, you won't change any of it. If you have children and they come over here and mess with it, it's not going to do anything. To get the lock to go away, you have to push the cancel button, which is right here, and you have to push it four times. Two, three, four. But this is on the moonlight display, and I want to actually program this on the day running light. So let's move over to that one. So push this again four times. One, two, three, four. And you see it is now to where we can program it. So we're going to program the actual correct time. The time is displayed in military time with hours, minutes, and seconds. We would push the hour button to change it to the correct hour we want it and then we would push our minute section or our minute, bu minute button to change our minute and then we can have our correct time. If it's day, they have a display of a day. If your day is wrong we would push the week button and go through your corresponding correct day. Now we actually have our current time set we're going to want to be able to program it to come on at without manual help. So I'd go to my set button, and I'd push it slightly, and you should see zero one on, and that is correlating to the different types of modes that Orphic has programmed into the timer, and that allows the Aquarius to have really specific ability on their light, which we've got right here, as you can see, the different type of working modes, 1 through 9, each of these allow you to change the different times of when your light will come on. The one we'll actually be programming today will be the number 1, a Monday through Sunday program, where the lights come on at the exact same time every day. So let's get back to our panel. And once again, I'll have to push my cancel button four times. So I can program it, and I'm going to go to my set, and it should say on. This is going to be programming the time when the light actually comes on. And I want my lights to come on early in the morning, so I'll scroll down, or scroll through. When I get to that time, about 8 in the morning, and then my minute. And my light should be coming on at 8.30 in the morning. Now I'll push set again and now it's going to be showing my off time. And I'll scroll to where I want my lights to be going off. And that is correct. If you push the set again, you actually scroll through the other different modes. And on this you want to make sure you see this type of display. If you don't have this and you actually have numbers, that means you're going to be having conflicting programming on time. If you do see numbers, all you have to do is push the cancel button and you would get this display. Now we're going to scroll through and make sure everything is set up, right? And it looks like everything is. And 16 is the last one. So now I'm back to my number one mode. Well, this is all set up. I'm ready. I'm happy with it. I can go clock. It should show my current time. And now I want to actually set it up to be where it's automatic. You'd go to the on auto off button which is right here and you can scroll through that and you can see your different settings. On means your lights will be on all the time and you will have to manually turn them off. Auto is where you will have the program working and off is where your lights will be off continually. So let's go back to auto which is right there and now my lights are set up and programmed exactly where I want them. If you have any questions or comments, you can definitely email or email us at usa at orphic.com. 
and thank you for joining us today.